Hola, mi nombre es Ramón y hoy vamos a ver si se puede en dos lenguajes. Entonces, para continuar en español, oprime el uno. Let's have a little fun today. Uh, first, I'd like to tell you a story. And then I'd like to ask for your participation. Um, we might have some fun. More about that later. Recently, I put up a video dealing with illegal immigration. Now, some of the comments I received and some of the videos and comments that I sought out on YouTube on this subject inevitably wound up on the topic of speaking English. That reminded me of a, of a business trip that I took some 10 years ago. In my position at the time, I was to travel around the world, um, different countries, and deliver a four-day seminar on the use of our our billing system for our partners. Uh, it was it was fun to to do. I got to see some countries that I would probably never visit on my own, uh, and it was all around a good experience. I did that for for about a year and a half, two years. Well, anyway, the first trip that I went on <clears throat> was to Panama. And while I was there, I began to give the course. And after a short while, it became clear that the participants, of which there were about 30, 30 people in the room, they sort of had blank stares on their faces. So I inquired to see if they were having difficulty grasping what I was saying. As it turned out, I was told that most of them did not really speak English and they asked me if I spoke Spanish and if I would be so kind to give the course in Spanish. <laughs> well, let me tell you a little bit about how I learned Spanish. <clears throat> My mom would speak English if she needed to on the job or some other venue but she was most comfortable speaking Spanish so at home she always spoke Spanish now her six children were all mo more comfortable most comfortable speaking English so our conversations would be she would speak to us in Spanish and we would reply in English uh, that's the way it was the entire time we were growing up, and to us, it was normal. So consequently, my understanding of the Spanish language was very good, but my speaking of it was quite broken. <laughs> so when I was asked to give a course, a four-day course, in Spanish, this was going to be very challenging. I, I agreed and I said I'd give it a try and about 15 minutes into it while trying to speak in Spanish I became so frustrated that I called for a coffee break. Uh, since we were having the seminar in a conference room in a hotel I went up to my room, stared at the mirror throwing water on my face just knowing there was no way I was going to get through this. Well, I gave myself a pep talk and went back to the class. And with the kind help of the participants uh, pushing me along, uh, I was able to get through the four days. Uh, they learned what they had to. And I had a pretty remarkable experience uh, doing something I thought I couldn't do. Well, anyway, 
now to the fun part. Even persons who are not bilingual or semi bilingual, as in my case, know a phrase or two in another language. So what I'd like to ask you to do is to post a video response saying something, you know, anything that you can say and not your primary language. So if your grandmother taught you something in German that you still recall, try posting that. Uh, of course, provide a translation or put subtitles. Uh, I think it'd be interesting to see uh, people speaking not their primary language and we'll see what we come up with. So, come on. It'll be fun. La primera canción que me enseñaron cuando estaba chiquito fue En mi viejo San Juan. <clears throat> En mi viejo San Juan, cuántos años forjé en mis años de infancia. No más, no más.